Your time right now, 8.15 this morning, stretching your dollar. We're taking a look at the market for homeowners and prospective home buyers. We have Brian Coaster, the CEO of Real Estate Connection, here with us in the studio. It's good to have you back. Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, thank you for coming in. So let's start with the current market. Tell us how it's looking right now. So right now the market is sort of in purgatory in the sense of the Federal Reserve has raised interest rates over the last year. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of buyers who are interested in buying, but sellers who have historically low interest rates really aren't interested in selling. They're kind of sitting on their cash, and that is still driving prices up, specifically in the DMV area because you have a huge demographic shift. You have Amazon putting a second headquarters here. Uh, you have a tremendous amount of people coming in with the administration changes, mm -hmm. and all these people make good money. So with the DMV, I mean, homes are selling very, very quickly still, and there's a lot of sellers who are just kind of waiting to see. The Federal Reserve is gonna lower interest rates, so they kind of control the, the market at some level. They're gonna start lowering interest rates, and you're gonna start seeing people sell, because when you're selling, if you have a 3% interest rate on your current property, you're not gonna wanna go to a 6.5% rate right now, which is kind of where they're at. So if you're renting, uh, go ahead and buy. If you own a house, you might want to wait a little bit until they lower interest rates. Okay, and are you seeing those numbers drop right now? Well, right now it's sort of stable, right? Okay. So the feds have, inter uh, have raised interest rates over the last year, uh, and they've sort of stabilized them, and you're going to start seeing them uh, taper them down a little bit over the next six to seven months. Okay, and what about those people who are working on their credit to kind of get ready to buy a house? Uh, what, what are some ideas you have for for them. So with credit, it's relatively simple in the sense of you need to have credit, right? So whether that's a credit card or a secured credit card, uh, and you need to make installment loan payments consistently. So the thing about credit is you have to have credit to get credit, and the best place to start is with a secured credit card, and then you want to just consistently make the payments. And let's look at, for homeowners, yep. there are ways to increase your value. Tell us uh, how you can do that. So I used to be a real estate appraiser. And so the big thing about real estate appraising is how do you get the maximum value out of the home? So it's relatively straightforward in the sense that ultimately your neighborhood is gonna determine your market value, right? So Bethesda versus Haymarket versus Culpepper versus Potomac all carry different market values. And what you wanna do is know your market and set yourself up to have the best possible price. So that includes curb appeal, right? So making sure it presents well, painting, taking care of floors, uh, making sure that your subsystems are updated. So for instance, like your HVAC system, your air conditioning system, your roof, and you don't wanna over improve it. You don't wanna dump a whole bunch of money into your property thinking somebody's gonna pay way more just because you spent money. You wanna put your property in line and just make it the best presentable property. And right now, those properties are selling in you know, four or five days uh, way over market. Um, it's sort of you know cleanliness, presentation, and then as well as just making sure that Whatever you do is in line with your neighborhood. You don't want to over improve it and you don't want to, you know, kind of uh, undersell yourself. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all the time we have. Good information there. Thank you so much, Brian, with Real Estate Connections. Thank you. And you can see, uh, you can find more information on our website at dcnewsnow.com.